Hello everyone, Mr. Safe here again. Today we're going to be talking about the digestive system. But before we get started, I have a question for you, which is, can you eat this sandwich as a just one piece, just like this? It seems like it's not a hard question. Definitely no. But I need to ask you why you cannot eat the sandwich as a just one piece. Is because of the sandwich so big? Or because of your mouth, really small, both are right. <laughs> the sandwich is so big and your mouth is so small. So what to do if you want to eat the sandwich? Simple, change the sandwich from this form into smaller forms. So you're gonna change the sandwich from complex form, which means big, into simple form, which means small. This is how to get benefit from the sandwich. This is how your body takes the sandwich inside. And simply, this is what's meant by digestion. Digestion, which is a complex word, has an easy meaning. It's changing. Changing what? Changing the sandwich from big or complex form into simple form. So is this the definition that you said? Changing the sandwich from big form into small form. But are you always eating sandwiches? Don't you eat different types of food? So we need to change this word. We need to substitute this word by food. Big by complex, small by simple. So the definition going to be changing the food from complex form to simple form. Can you say the definition without the first word? Changing the food from complex form to simple form. Can you say the definition without the second word? Changing the sandwich from complex form to simple form. You are right. Try to say it without the third word. Amazing. And now you are able to say the definition changing the food from complex form to simple form. Amazing! So which system inside your body is responsible for changing the food from complex form to simple form? The answer is the digestive system, which is in front of you on the screen. We have many organs in the digestive system. Let's try to practice their names together. Number one, mouth. And inside the mouth, we have tongue, teeth, and salivary glands. What are these? We're going to discover together. After the mouth, we have here in this area, pharynx, this place. And after the pharynx, we have esophagus, this tube, esophagus. It connects between the mouth and the next organ, which is here, stomach, stomach. And after the stomach, the food goes where? To the small intestine. And after small intestine, it goes to the large intestine. And after the large intestine, it goes to the anus. So your body can take it off, can get rid of the waste and so on. Within this process, there are supplementary organs are helping the digestive system in its function. Maybe it's not a digestive canal, so the food cannot go inside them, but they secrete their produced juices, liquids, help in digestion. For furthermore activities, for more games, you can find this link below under the video. So by clicking on this link, you're going to find my surprise, which is, this is the surprise, a puzzle, the digestive system, is represented here by pieces of puzzle. If you got succeeded in collecting these puzzles within two minutes, I have a gift for you. Try to play it and send me a screenshot on the comment below or your score in the comment below and wait for your gift. So let's discover the organs of the digestive system one by one. The first organ in the digestive system is the mouth which is made up of two jaws, upper jaw and lower jaw. Mainly we can find inside them different types of teeth. The main function of the teeth, which are represented in incisors found in front here and here, K 
canines, which are found in both sides of incisors, up and down, premolars and molars to crash and grind the food, as you can see over there. Cut, crush, grind the food into smaller pieces. So you can swallow them easily. So guess and when? What's the function of the different types of teeth? If it's cut the food, right? The canines, premolars and molars are used to grind, crash. The second organ in the mouth, which is the tongue, the second part here. It has the main function of tasting the food. Is it salty? Is it sugary? Is it spicy? Or so on. This is, can be determined by the function of the tongue. Also, it helps in mixing the food with the saliva. I mean the liquid inside the mouth that helps in um, making the food easy to be swallowed. And it helps in swallowing too. This is the main function of the tongue. Then, one of the really tricky points here is the main function of the salivary glands. Organs inside the mouth are producing liquid. This liquid is the saliva inside your mouth. It helps in changing the food from the complex form to simple form. It digests the storage into simple sugar material can be easy uh, to be absorbed by the body and get benefit from it. So what are the starch or the carbs that the saliva try to digest? These are the carbs or the starch. After this, the food is ready to be delivered from the mouth to the pharynx. But let's take a look specifically at this port. That's the pharynx. The second port after the mouth is the pharynx. You can see here two tubes, the one in front and the one in the backward. The one in front here, it's the trachea. This is a tube for the respiratory system. And the respiratory system is responsible for the air. So the one in front here takes the air only. But where does the food go? To the one behind, the esophagus. The one is behind here is the esophagus. And the food is moving from the mouth to the esophagus, as you can see here. So what makes the trachea closed while you are eating the food to prevent the food from entering the trachea? This part. It's known as epiglottis. It closes the trachea to make sure the food will not enter and keep moving in the esophagus. This is simply how the food goes to the esophagus, which is the next part. So simply, this is the esophagus. It's a tube connected between the mouth and the stomach. So what is happening in the stomach? The food is delivered to the stomach. But inside the stomach, we have digestive juice, liquid, known as hydrochloric acid, or you can say acid. Sometimes in the advanced levels, we name these digestive juices by scientific names. But we do not study these scientific names in grade 4. We study only its acid. Or you can say gastric juice later on. Or you can say the acid in the stomach. Anyway, this liquid in the stomach turns the solid food into soupy liquid food. Soupy liquid substance. Turn, especially the proteins, into simpler form. Makes the proteins like liquid, soupy liquid. So the acid in the stomach turned the food from the complex form into simple form, but not the starch, the proteins. So what are the proteins? The answer is in front of you. These are the proteins. Then the turn comes for the next organ. Do you remember what's the organ after the stomach? Exactly, it's the small intestine. Here, after the stomach, we have the small intestine. Don't get confused. After stomach, small intestine, then the large. Okay? The first part of the small intestine is different. Sometimes we call it duodenum. Sometimes we say duodenum. Anyway, the first part of the small intestine makes kind of digestion or to be specific, 
kind of digestion is happening in it, which is the duodenum or the duodenum. When the food passes from the stomach to the small intestine, it passes here. But here, it's the link between this organ. This organ is the gallbladder, gallbladder, the green one. And this organ, which is pancreas. One of the organs that I told you before, they help in digestion, but the food doesn't enter them. They secrete liquids. To show you more details, take a look here. That's the green organ, which is the gallbladder, and that's the liquid that found inside, which is bile juice. So the name of the organ, gallbladder. The name of the liquid, bile juice. The bile juice are secreted from the gallbladder through this way here, and this part, the first part of the small intestine. Also the pancreas secretes a juice, makes the juice go from its cells to this place. So simply, we can take a look what is happening right now. The bile juice and the pancreatic juice are secreted from the gallbladder and the pancreas in the duodenum or the duodenum here. They help in the digestion of fats and the rest types of food. We can see furthermore here to simplify this part. Let's study each one independently. I'm gonna separate them. That's the bile juice. It changes the fats such as oil from from this form the form that does not dissolve in water into a form dissolves in water it makes the fats soluble in water so that's the main function of the bile juice which organ secretes the bile juice the green one gallbladder but from where can the gallbladder get this liquid it take it from the liver that's the liver so the liver produces the bile juice and is stored it in the gallbladder and then the gallbladder secreted in the duodenum. The pancreas is doing the same but it produces different digestive juice. It secretes here pancreatic juice. It helps in the digestion but not the digestion of fats only. Fats, carbs and so on. Anyway the digestion is completely finished in the small intestine. Anyway, the digestion is completed in the small intestine and finished at all. So here are three questions for you. Do you remember what's the name of the digestive juice in the stomach? And which kind of food can be digested here? Right. It's the gastric juice, digest proteins. And here, especially this one, excellent, the bile juice. It's secreted from the gallbladder, which is the green one, and it digests fat. Here, that's the pancreas, and it digests the carbohydrates, fats, and it helps in the rest of digestion. After the small intestine, we can find, actually the digestion is completed but we have a part in the small intestine is responsible for taking the digested food that we already digested by the help of our digestive system to the blood. Why? Ask yourself this question. Why do you digest food? To take it, to put it in the blood. Why especially the blood? Because the blood will distribute it all over body organs. The blood is taking the digested food, give it to the brain, the arms, legs, rest of organs. So we need to digest the food to make it simple, small, and then the blood will distribute it so the organs can take the food and burn it to produce energy to work. So how can that happen? Take a look here. That's the wall of the small intestine. Here. A section in the small intestine take a look and the internal wall of the small intestine gonna be maximized like this I'm gonna zoom in to make it easy for you inside the walls the internal walls of the small intestine we have blood vessels 
deeply if we can take a look that's the digested food is coming here look after the digestion the wall of the small intestine take it and put it in the blood vessels look the blood vessel is inside the internal wall and the digested food is moving to the blood through the wall of the small intestine then the blood takes the digested food and move around the body to distribute the digested food all over body organs this process is known as absorption absorption of food to be specific absorption of food where does it happen in the small intestine why i'm asking you this question because the next step is different the next step is happening in the large intestine the large intestine here is for two main functions number one it absorbs the water doesn't it absorb food no it doesn't absorb food it absorbs water only and also it takes the wastes till the anus it delivers the wastes of the food the thing that we do not needed the harmful things the solid waste to the anus so you can get rid of them outside your body here here I need you to give me some advices to keep my digestive system healthy try to expect from the pictures I'm gonna store it with this one eat healthy food this one chew the food well eat well here I guess this is not something to do I guess this is something not to do which is avoid fast food do not eat junk food because it's harmful for your body this is a summary for the advices the most important advices you can use them to keep your digestive system and your body healthy and that's the end you can find the link of the game below uh, in the description of the video don't forget to make like leave the question that you would like to ask to me in the comment below make subscribe for further more games and questions and lessons and see you goodbye